Joseph Gordon-Levitt is an American actor, director, and filmmaker. He landed up in acting as a child protege as Rounder in the television film Stranger on My Land. Thereafter, he performed as a child artist in various commercials, television films, and series. Check out 10 things you probably didn't know about Joseph Gordon-Levitt. Last Name during a 1998 interview with Conan O'Brien, Joseph Gordon-Levitt explained that he ended up with two last names because his parents were hippies and didn't think it was necessary for the woman to lose her last name. He got Gordon from his mom and Levitt from his dad. He started acting at a young age. He began his acting career at the tender age of six, appearing in commercials for Cocoa Puffs, Pop-Tarts, and Kenny Shoes before landing his breakout role in the TV comedy series Third Rock from the Sun in 1996 his motivation to be an actor. When speaking with Jimmy Fallon in 2010, Gordon Levitt revealed that when he was a child, his parents kind of bribed him into doing commercials with the promise that he would be able to buy anything he wanted with his earnings. His purchase of choice? His very own Street Fighter II arcade machine. Took his family to Africa. His mother, Jane Gordon, insists she always allowed the child actor to choose his own roles. That is, until 1995's The Great Elephant Escape. At first, Gordon Levitt wasn't interested in the role because it conflicted with his school sports schedule. But Mama Gordon encouraged him to take the role so the whole family could take a trip to Kenya where the film was shot. Acting Break After making the movie Manic in 2001, Gordon Levitt quit the business for two years to go to college at Columbia University to study history, literature, and French poetry. He even became an avid Francophile and a French speaker. Although he dropped out in 2004 to return full-time to acting, he called the university experience one of the smartest things I've ever done. Got the part of Arthur in Inception after James Franco turned down the role. Originally, fellow Jewish actor James Franco was offered the role of Arthur in the movie Inception opposite Leonardo DiCaprio, but he turned it down. Joseph Gordon-Levitt stepped in as his replacement. He absolutely killed the role, impressing director Christopher Nolan enough that he cast him in The Dark Knight Rises. Nolan said in a statement, When you collaborate with people as talented as Marion and Joe, it comes as no surprise that you would want to repeat the experience. I immediately thought of them for the roles of Miranda and Blake, and I am looking forward to working with both of them again. Commitment In Looper, he played a younger version of Bruce Willis. The preparation was tough, with Joseph Gordon-Levitt reflecting, Looper was probably the most transformative of any movie I've ever done. He continued, I studied him, and watched his movies, and ripped the audio off of his movies, so I could listen to them on repeat. He even recorded some of my voiceover monologues from Looper, and sent me that recording, so I could hear what it would sound like in his voice, and then just getting to know him, and spending time with him, and letting it seep in. It's a really, really fascinating way to become a character. That's always my favorite thing, is to transform, become somebody else. If I see a moment that reminds me of myself, I always feel like I messed that up. Joseph Gordon-Levitt wound up spending close to three hours every day in the makeup chair for thin prosthetic pieces to be applied to his face to resemble Willis as closely as possible. He always wears mismatched socks. Following the death of his fire-juggling brother Mike in 2010, Gordon-Levitt inherited his sibling's collection of unpaired socks and heartwarmingly decided that he would continue his brother's trend of wearing mismatched socks on his feet. Hit Record In 2005, Joseph Gordon-Levitt launched Hit Record, a web-based collaborative production company that uses video, music, writing, and photography from different artists around the world to make short films, books, DVDs, and other works of art. Over the years, it has expanded into a thriving online community of over 300,000 members. He said that Hit Record could produce plenty of TV shows, features, documentaries, and bigger and live events, and that he hoped it could even become our generation's DreamWorks Studios. Directing and Producing Gordon Levitt's first film as director, the 24-minute long Sparks, an adaptation of a short story by Elmore Leonard, starring Carla Gugino and Eric Stoltz, was selected for the 2009 Sundance Film Festival as part of a new program for short films. In 2010, he directed another short film, Morgan and Destiny's 11th Date, The Zeppelin Zoo. In 2013, Gordon Levitt wrote, directed, and starred in his screenwriting and directional debut, Don John. The film also stars Scarlett Johansson, Julianne Moore, and Tony Danza, and premiered at the Sundance Film Festival in January 2013. Following the premiere, the film was acquired by Relativity Media, and Gordon Levitt stated, I always intended this to be a movie for a mass popular audience. Everyone told me it was a long shot, 
I couldn't possibly be more grateful.